man running that retreat that the president is coming to today, the chair of the House Republican Conference, Mike Pence. Good morning, Congressman. Let's begin with the first big story we have. The morning, breaking new, the news overnight that the White House now starting to look into alternate locations for this college shake Mohammed trial. But th they have not completely given up on the idea of holding the trial in federal court. Will House Republicans move to block funding for the trial in federal court? And do you have the votes? Well, let me say, George, House Republicans uh, uh, last year made an effort to block funding in the Commerce Justice State Bill, but Democrats in Congress prevented us from doing that. Look, this is a terrible idea to return the mastermind of 9-11 uh, to the scene of the worst uh, terrorist attack in American history. Not only the financial cost, but the emotional cost, and, and frankly, it, it really compromises the security of that city by making it a terrorist target. Republicans have been uniformly, universally opposed to it. We fought it on the floor. And uh, unless the administration comes to its senses and abandons this absurd idea, uh, Republicans, uh, and I expect uh, some Democrats will join us okay. in blocking any funding to try Khalid Sheikh Mohammed in New York City. Okay, let's move to jobs. The president is going to be pushing his jobs bill when he meets with you later today. And the centerpiece is this new $5,000 tax credit for small businesses. Now, that is the kind of proposal that Republicans have supported in the past. Will you support it now? Well, look, uh, Republicans invited the president to our retreat because uh, we want to have a, uh, we want to have a serious conversation with the president about our proposals uh, to get this economy moving again, to lower the cost of health insurance, to achieve energy independence, and to put our fiscal house uh, in order. Uh, we're going to hear from the president, George, for a few minutes, uh, but uh, he's going to hear for quite a while uh, from Republicans about our alternatives. But, we'll but, take but a look at his proposal, but I've got to tell you, yeah. Well, will you meet him halfway, though? The president's come out for this jobs tax credit. He's come out for nuclear power for offshore drilling, for a spending yep. freeze, for a deficit commission. These are all ideas Republicans have supported in the past. Will you support them now? Well, look, uh, Republicans uh, are going to continue to stand on uh, the principles that we were elected to advance. We're going to articulate those to the president today. We're going we're to remind him uh, that despite the party of no smear of the last year that we've offered substantive alternatives on every single major issue facing the economy facing the country but on that specific tax issue you know you know george it seems to me you know the administration and the state of the union and last year on the economy are, are playing a lot of small ball here it's they want they want uh, targeted spending to get the economy moving they want targeted tax cuts you know the, the real way to get the economy moving is across the board tax relief for working families small businesses family farms plus real fiscal discipline now in Washington, D.C., that's what's going to get the economy moving again, and that'll be what the president hears today. Okay, Congressman, thanks very much for your time this morning. Thank you.